What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're going to be talking about how wide receivers can stop raising their pad level up right before they make a break and how they can stop chopping their strides to give an indicator to the DB. So this single thing is going to help you guys get much more separation, especially if you were playing at the youth and high school level where DBs aren't used to seeing wide receivers who can change direction that well. Okay, so I hope this video helps you guys out. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you need to get better at reading coverages, you want to be able to understand why a DB is playing you a certain way, what a certain coverage looks like, and and how you guys can beat that coverage, what moves to pick against that coverage, check out that very first link in the description below for our 35 minute long video on how wide receivers can read defenses. We break down every single coverage that you're going to see, how wide receivers should be approaching that from the slot and the outside wide receiver position, and your plan that you can organize off that line of scrimmage. So check out that very first link in the description below. Let's get started with this video. So when it comes to running a route, when it comes to selling vertical, when it comes to getting separation in general, there are three things that you have to be able to do when you get to this specific point on your stem, right? So there's three phases of every single route. You got the stem, you got the break point, and then you got the acceleration. We're mainly focused on the stem today. So on this stem, you have to be in full stride, you have to be running pretty much full speed, and you have to be in a good pad level position. Now, the mistake that a lot of wide receivers will make is they'll get all the way up to this break point right here, right? Where they're about to snap down, where they're going to make a speed cut, and they'll start to raise their chest up or start to chop their feet the second before they get to that break. All all that serves to do and give it gives an indicator to this DB that I'm going to be making a break. So an indicator is something that lets him know, hey, I'm going to slow down. Hey, I'm going to change direction because then what that DB does is he slows down and then he's able to make a break on. It's very, very tough to play the defensive back position when a wide receiver doesn't give any indicators on his routes. When he doesn't let us know what we are doing or when he doesn't let the DB know what he's doing, the DB is playing a guessing game and he thinks it's a fade every single time until it is not. So what can stop you guys from raising up? There are two things that I I tell my, my wide receivers. I tell them to focus on keeping their chest over their knees and keeping their chin down. So when you guys are thinking about a lot of times guys will run up and they raise their chin up in the air. They raise up their chest before they snap down, before they make a speed cut. And that's a form of raising your pad level. So I tell them, hey, keep your chin down. Now, the other thing that I tell them is, hey, you want to try to keep your chest over your knees. This is for guys who love to run super tall and don't sell vertical. And when they get into their breaks, they're almost like on their heels because they lean back too much. So if I could get you guys to think chest over knees, chin or chin is tucked down I still be straightforward that will help you guys keep a good pad level right up into the break now how can you train something like this right so when you guys are running routes and let's say it's a versus air maybe you're not working a press release you're working a zone coverage concept you want to think of your routes like you're running steps it's going off of steps so maybe on this like speed out right here instead of like setting up a cone at 10 yards and you running up to the cone and then making a break Think about it like, hey, I'm not going to break at the cone. I'm going to break off of my third inside step, right? So like this is his inside foot right here. He comes off the line, right? Gives this release. Like let's call that his first inside step. Then he takes that step. That's his second. Then bam, right on the third, he breaks this thing off. Now, again, when it's press coverage, it's a little bit different because you can't really worry about steps. But how you guys can train this when you're running routes against air is make everything off of steps. Because if you can just count that ste those steps in your head, it takes away from you chopping your feet to try to get to a cone. A lot of the times guys will put a cone out here and they'll run a route and then they start to slow down because they have to break in front of the cone. Football is not a game that's played with cones on the field. It is about changing direction fast, being able to sell vertical, being able to sell the routes that you run and get out as efficiently as possible. So if you can focus on those things, running your routes when you are training off of steps, focus on keeping your chest over your knees, focus on keeping your chin tucked, that will help you sell vertical and that will keep that DB in that game guessing game for four quarters, okay, on every single route that you run. Let's play this thing again full speed one more time. This is a perfect example of the exact pad level, the exact stride, and the exact speed you need to sell vertical and get this DB off that route. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If um, you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to uh, leave those in the comment section below. We always appreciate the feedback. It's always great to hear from you guys as usual. And also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to get better at reading defenses, understanding coverages, check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.